and what? Hi, Bansi. Uh, so if you could sum up um, what Navratri uh, 2012 has meant to you this year, what would you say? Uh, blistered feet, aching bones, shattered knees and toes, but all totally worth it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> uh, compared to previous years, because I know previous years you never used to attend every day, what's made you attend every day this year? What's been different about it? Tell you the truth, I used to fly to Tanzania for the last six years. This is the first year I've actually come, mainly because there's a revolution and we're changing it up up in here. And what do you think has been really good about Garbal? The uh, fact Orlando? that the, the youth are actually taking over and uh, there's, there's a lot of changes and a lot of more new, new styles happening and it's not just the boring same old same old. And are you a user of Facebook? Yes. Have you been following us on that page? <laughs> within, within half an hour of those pictures of I'm up there liking them straight away. <laughs> and how have you been using it? Why do you think it's been so effective? Because my mom, my dad and my ba are in Tanzania and they're the first ones that will wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, kick away and have a look at what I was wearing last night. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you think the Facebook page has brought people together? Uh, well, the fact is that people that are so far away or people that I don't see on a regular basis don't get to see what I'm doing or where I am and stuff. And that's the one place that they get to see what's, what's happening in my life. And if they get to see what's happening in my community as well, they can also get involved. So it's not just about me, it's about my whole community as well. Excellent. And last question. How would you encourage other people in the community to get involved, not just with the Garba, but with events within the community? Uh, grab them by the neck and just pull them in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. My name is Pavika Dhana. I'm from East Ham, East London. Hi, Pavika. If you could sum up the last eight days of Navratri 2012, what would you say? It's been great fun, there's been a lot of youths and it's been a great crowd. Why do you think that this year specifically has been so much more uh, successful than previous years? I think more youth have come, um, I think that's due to Facebook, the birds getting out at the first day, there wasn't that many people but I think the youngsters are telling more people why didn't come and it's been great fun, it's been a great turnout. How have you used Facebook during the Navratri period? Checking the photos, looking at the videos, and seeing everyone enjoy themselves, really. And if you could have a message for youths who haven't come, or youths in our community, what would you say to them? If you're not coming, you're missing out on a great fun and great night, and socialising with family that you haven't seen probably throughout the whole year. Good, thank you. Fantastic. I'm Bridgesh, and I'm from Wembley. Hi, Bridgesh. So tell me, in a short sentence, how would you sum up Navratri for you this year? Incredible, fun, enjoyable. Good. And if you, uh, compared to previous years, you've been coming every day this year, haven't you? Why do you think you've been coming every day this year? What's been good about it? There's been a change up and had more free time to come. And what's been good about the Garba? It's lasted longer, it's more fun. Okay. And do you look at the Facebook page? Yeah. Tell me what's been good for you about the Facebook page. Um, viewing the, all the videos of the people here. Okay. And photos. And photos. And if you could encourage other youths of your age to get more involved in the community, what would you say to them? Come, come, come. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's good. So hi, I'm Rajesh. Um, I live down in Stanmore. Before that, I used to be out in Dar es Salaam and do long time and stuff over there. Hi, Bridgesh. Hi. Um, so, tell us if you could sum up the last nine days of Navratri 2012, what would you say? Last nine days have actually been really good. Um, you know, everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. We are really enjoying ourselves. My sister and I, we've been coming pretty much every day. Um, everyone's playing differently, everyone's getting involved, and it's, it's been really good. Yeah. Now, in previous years, you never used to come every day, so this year, what's been different and that made you attend each and every day? Well, everyone's getting flexibility to play different styles or, you know, getting younger people involved as well, that's, that's quite good. And obviously my sister being here, that helps as well. 
Um, are you a user of Facebook? Yes. And have you been following the PPA uh, page on Facebook? Yes. What, what, how have you used that page and what's been great about it? Well, keeping in touch, making your friends, getting in touch with everyone else over here. Um, and my parents, especially who live out in Dar es Salaam, they get to see all the photos as well, so they, they love it more. Excellent. And if you had a message for the community who, or members of the community who haven't been able to attend every day or who have missed out, what would you say to them? Oh, come back next year, definitely. Um, big improvements. Um, you know, every year is good, uh, but every time, you know, everyone's taking their suggestions in, so uh, hopefully next year it'll be even better. Thanks for your time, Vijay. No worries. My name is Deepika Shah, and I live in Brisbane. Hi, Deepika. If you could sum up the last uh, nine days of Navratri 2012, what would you say? Um, it's been a really fun, fun field event, meeting lots of people that I managed to catch up with over the year. Um, and it's been a really good laugh. And why do you think this year has been specifically more su successful than it has been previous years? I think there's more sort of advertis ad advertisement on Facebook um, and there's sort of lots of uh, youth um, and cousins and whatever on Facebook so people are looking at the photos and looking at the dress code and you know sort of making an effort to, to show up. And on Facebook, what, what have you, how have you been using the Facebook page for um, Budney? On the days that I haven't been able to make it, I've been checking the photos, finding out what I'm missing out on. <laughs> Yeah, it's been brilliant. And if you had a message for the youths of uh, the community, what would you say to them? Um, if you don't come, you're going to miss out on a really good social event. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sean, I'm from Wembley. Hi, Sean. Tell me uh, what Narratu has meant for you this year. I think it's really good this year because the community is almost built more strongly this year. And you also maintain our traditional like, roots and maintaining actual garba as well. So it's good. Cool. And do you use Facebook? Yeah, I do. Tell me what's been really good about the Facebook page. There you can see almost everyone's photo and everyone's video. And then also people who like it, you can find out other people in the community who you don't really know. Okay. And if you could encourage more youths of your age to get involved, what would you say? I'd say we need other functions, not just Navratri, because at the end of the day, you only see most of your youths at Navratri. So we need things like bowling nights or sporting events or something where we can bond as a community. Excellent, thank you.